Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing why the Vikings so good. Um, first off, defense is not that good. I think it's really that's just that offense that's giving um Minnesota, but that defense is a big part of football. So also, I reason why that defense is pretty. They're okay. They're average defense. Um, Minnesota did get Lewisian. I think it was out of LSU, maybe, I think, probably, I think, yep, it should be. Um, Minnesota also drafted Patrick Peterson, so he was a really good one. He, we drafted them, like, last year in, like, the middle of the season, so we got to play a little bit last year, but not much. This year is his first ever full season of the Vikings. Um, we did draft... Let me think. We, well, good job by the Vikings. Um, they stayed Boyd. They or uh, Boyd Tyler or I don't know his last first name, but his last name's Boyd from twenty nine. Solid. Um, we did trade Mike Mike Hughes to the Lions. Wasn't a big part. Um, Cam Dantzler and Lewis Sane, I think they both were really good together. Um, their offense. <sighs> we'll come back to the defense in a little bit. Well, let's talk about this offense. You see this offense, they're just so good. I mean, Kirk feels more comfortable instead of, so like, when we had Mike Zimmer in as the head coach. Cousin feels like he couldn't make a mistake, and then he got too nervous, and then he made mistakes, and then Mike Zimmer got mad at Kirk Cousins. They did not work together right, so I, I'm glad that we got rid of Mike Zimmer. And then we got Kevin O'Connell that came Minnesota, the biggest. I, you should be afraid of Minnesota, all because of Kevin O'Connell. While Curdy is the quarterback, so they, um, O'Connell and Curdy used to work together on the Redskins, and then they came together on Minnesota, so they worked together really well. Um, JJ, always been, for the last two years, always been a big part of the offense. Thielen has not got much passes, but he, he's good. Um, KJ Osborne Hoofda in that line and the Vikings vs. Colts game big part. I don't think we could have won without KJ Osborne. Um so we have our backup quarterback, um Nick Mullen. Um I don't know where he came from, but Nick Mullen. He he's a good quarterback backup, you know. He hasn't been Getting chances to play, but it's all Curry. But that is a, okay. Kellen Mond, good job by Minnesota. First of all, what is good about training Kellen Mond? What's bad? So what's bad about it is that it was like a mini Patrick Mahomes. This kid was just phenomenal. Um, he was a really good guy. He got his passes in, and I think he did really good. But also, what's really smart about training them is Minnesota didn't really need Mond as a backup. They used them for a preseason. That was a nice idea. Using them for the, only the preseason, not getting Kurt again. And then about like mid season, like not even mid season, before the season started, the regular season, we traded them because Curdy needed to get his time to play. Um, Jalen Rager. Rager. Okay, not the best. Um, I think we would have been better with um, old the pun returner. Can't remember his name, but he was better. Um, sometimes I think back why Minnesota traded their other players, but don't get too far on a boat. The Vikings just get just think why they are a good team this year. Um, but my also concern about that defense is the my other concern about the defense is that we're getting slum leads but 
like I really like Cameron Bynum. Harrison Smith, Harrison Smith and Cameron Bynum outstanding in the last few games. And it's the Dolphins, Colts are getting picks. But Harrison didn't play against the Colts, or did he? I don't think he did. Come down below. Um, I don't think he did. So, so Cameron Bynum getting picks at the end of the game. Same with Cam Danzler. Cam Danzler is injured, though. So that might be a little effective for Minnesota and their defense. They need to increase their defense, maybe just a little bit their offense, and then they will be solid. Um, they're the best in the North Division, so that is good. Winning against the Colts, got them back in the number one slot against the North Division. They got in the first slot, almost a lose, pulled out a Hornomic win. Outstanding job by Kevin O'Connell. And this Vikings team is not giving up on that game. Keeping with it. Comment down below if you want a Vikings versus Dolphins game and Colts. Do it. So, oh yeah. One thing. Bye.